<laughs> Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, the first time I saw you on screen, it was on Churchill. Okay. Um, yeah, on doing stand up. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right. So tell me a little bit about your background when it comes to comedy and, of course, performing. I started doing uh, comedy professionally uh, in 2010, and uh, from back then I knew that I want. I, I really wanted to have a show on TV. Okay. Then when I met Larry, the standards changed. He was like, uh, don't be fixed on stand-up. I want to show you other forms of comedy that you can do. Right. So he used to, uh, after, after the trend every Friday, he would uh, compile recordings over the week at his place of uh, the US shows, uh, the Colbert show, yes. John Oliver, uh, and Trevor Noah. The Daily Show. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And yes. I'll watch them all weekend, and he would uh, uh, give tips on how to do them. So far, and that's how the weekend edition was born. Right. Yes. Amazing. Yes. yes, yes the weekend edition is an amazing thing. Thank you. Yeah. It is. I'll let you in on a little secret, actually. King Ori used to be my desk mate back in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then one day I look, and his desk is empty, and I walk around the office, and he's sitting next to Larry. What happened? <laughs> but but <laughs> we, we you weren't see, making you laugh. No, no, no. You see, you are doing well with your life, where is it? <laughs> so that could mean that you may downgrade, Amon. Ah, uh, no, we are downgrade at all. We are all one happy really? family. Ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> right. So this show, as you've mentioned, is very similar to other shows that we've seen, especially definitely, from yeah. the U.S. Yes, yes. The Daily Show, uh, it's, it's Jimmy a, Kimmel Live. It's an international format. It, it is an international format. Yes, okay, yes. so coming up with this format, okay. very difficult to do in Kenya because our sense of humor is different. The way we address current affair issues, politics, politicians is very different as well. Okay. Is it a tightrope for you to walk? Yeah, but I, it is a tightrope, but I have a very able team. First of all, the, N, the NTV family has been very supportive. If I were to do the show alone, I don't think it would, it would make the cut. Really? But yes, 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 yes. But there's a there's a lot of support from the people who watch it, and the audience has also been very supportive. Nikama mm -hmm. audience yako. Yeah. So they've been very supportive in terms of uh, constructive criticism. In ter if something doesn't work, they can say, Ah, I don't feel this, ama. Nasile uh, to hate speech, yeah, hate speech. Yeah. Hate speech na compliment. No. Constructive. Yes, yes. You yeah. know, no <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've seen uh, some serious guests on your show. Yes. Definitely. Some serious heavy hitting politicians. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit, of course, about preparing for some of these people because it is a very sensitive, some, some of the topics are very sensitive. Yes, but you yes, have yes, to address yes, yes. them. Definitely. How do you go about that? It looks definitely. hard. That goes back to our philosophy of the show. If you want to tell someone the truth, just make it funny. And that's where our job comes in. Uh, me and my team look at a, at a topic and we try to look at the weak points that we can attack. Okay. Mm, and we roll with it. So, and if we, if we call a guest, and so far, it's, it's also about challenging yourself. Like, uh, most of us wouldn't believe that we will have, like, the police spok spokesman, yeah. Charles Owino, on the show. But the idea could you challenge, and this is one lesson that I've learned in life, if you don't, uh, that thing that seems impossible, it's only impossible after you tried and tried and tried and tried and it doesn't work. But you can't talk about impossibilities if you haven't tried. Yeah. And so we tried Owino, and that was a, a classic opening because if we shied away, I'm a, we got scared. I'm to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, At the beginning of this year, I had a resolution, and I'm excited about that uh, also, that I wanted to do comedy uh, in the Comedy Central standards. Oh, yes. Uh, comedy Central, Ilia US. Mm. And when the Wicked Edition came, uh, we wanted to target the Kenyan market. And then feedback came, people were comparing it to the shows that to look at now. Then people say, oh, Kumbe CCC? I'm Jalalia. Eh, hey, Mazit, to look at. Mm. As in, to look at na GMBA, okay, sawa. Na standards za Kenya lazima to compete na vioja maakamani. Lakini kama tujarudisho hapo, then that's a good, good thing. Good thing, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. A lot yes. of people think that you just come on, you get makeup, microphone, you sit, and everything is fine. And There's that's a good thing. A, it's a good thing when, when you can pull it off like Until that. Until you try. Until you try. <laughs> this guy works, I think, seven days a week. You work, you work a lot. I, I, every time I'm in the office, I see you there typing away, writing his scripts. Yeah. Uh, for my final question, I'd like to ask you to encourage young people and to tell them what it takes to get to where you've gotten to. Ah, yeah. okay. uh, for a show like The Wicked Edition, first of all, I think 
uh, if calculatively, I have like two hours a week that I don't think about the weekend edition. And uh, it requires- Only two hours? Yes, only two hours. Wow. And that's on Saturday. And hopefully I'll get a break at this time. Because before you put together like a show, but, but not only for the show, Akuna yeah. job, right? See, if you want to succeed in anything, um, if you want to put something, Kenyans don't care. See, I'm care about the job that it takes kufanya kitu. Mnata kuona product poor. Definitely. So uh, it, it calls for so much work to have something yenye. So, unajua job ya wa Kenya, basically, let me give you a, a description of who Kenyans are. Kazi ya wa Kenya ni kutafta makosa. <laughs> so kazi yetu kazi so, yetu ni, me, ni ku yeah. edit makosa mm. that's basically it so uh, most of the work that we do ni eh uh, hapana hii kutakuwa na issue na hii hapana and that's most of the work that we do yeah. like to kill all the loopholes everyone can be funny like kusema tu vitu funny acheke unaweza make jokes about anything yeah. but sasa the sense in that now that's a good thing to raise the standards na ku raise standards si raisi because uh, a show like the Wicked Edition, you have to deliver every week. We have to have a classic episode every week. Na bado ujafika kwa headaches za fixing the show because a lot of uh, staff are in, uh, a lot of uh, planning is involved in the show because you have to have a guest. Yes. You have to make your guest funny sometimes. Wa Kenya wataki kujua kama ni nani guest mgani nani munajua who is the most unfunny man in Kenya? Most unfunny man. That's most a hard unfunny. one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matiangi, thank God I'm not in school. Yeah. Uh, someone like Matiangi, if we were to do education, for example, and uh, we want Matiangi on the show, wa Kenya kujua Matiangi is not funny. Actually, there's a phrase, Matiangi apendi ujinga, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My audience members, the crew, everybody here can agree that he is doing an amazing job, isn't he? Yeah. It's a great show. It's a really, really good show. It airs every Tuesday, 8 o'clock, all right? Catch him. Hilarious. Okay, and you, he's also on social media. Kokila Pali. Definitely. All right, we have a great fan over here before we take a quick break. Okay. Please stand, honey. She's one of your biggest fans, okay? Yay. Come over here. Let's take selfies. Come with your phone. Come with your phone. Come with your phone, and then we'll take selfies. All right, everybody. Dr. Kingori, let's give it up for him. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank All you. right.